In this video, you are going to learn what is consistent estimator. Consistency is a technical term in econometrics. It means two things. The probability limit of beta hat is equal beta, and the estimator of beta has the lowest variance as possible. The second property about the variance will be object of another video. Let's start with the definition of beta hat. On y, let's plug the definition of the simple regression model, and let's distribute this x beta in the error term to get this expression. We can write beta hat as beta, the covariance matrix of x, inverse, and the covariance between x and the error term. Now, let's add the number of observations in this analysis. See that you add this n-1 here, and you, we add here n-1 as well. Nothing change adding these both n's, because see that this minus 1 becomes positive with this minus 1 here outside. We are adding the number of observations to this analysis because we want to know what happens if n goes to infinite, if the sample size increases enough, what happens? Now, let's calculate the probability limit of a beta hat. That means what happens when number of observations goes to infinite. Beta, the parameter, is not a function of n. Therefore, you just copy beta. This first probability limit we are going to ignore because this will converge to this matrix covariance of x. Nothing change. Our fox is in the second probability limit because this term here can go to zero. For large sample, if x is uncorrelated with the error term, this goes to zero. And then probability limit of beta hat will be equal beta. The point here that you are claiming that beta hat will be unbiased for large sample. And what we need is that x will be uncorrelated with the error term. We don't need independence, that is a stronger assumption. For many estimators in econometrics, we get only unbiased beta for a large sample and not for small sample size. 